But we begin with a super college basketball matchup. Number one, Duke. Number four, Wake Forest. Man, what a game. We got six of the top seven ranked teams in college basketball going. And will number one be going down? That was the question. Wake was one before it lost last week to Virginia Tech. This one on the Deacon Demons home court. There's your go-to guys, Henderson and Teague. And there's your go-to coach. Power. Power. First half, wake up four off the miss. Al Farouk Aminu. Oh, dunks that. The crowd just goes nuts. Look at untouched there. That's oh, that's not fundamentally sound by the Dukies. Interior defense for Wake was tough. James Johnson. Talk to the hand, Lance Thomas. Then David Weaver. Do the same, Brian Zubak. And then Johnson shut the front door. Wake had seven blocks in the first half. And then Teague just before the half. Take that in the locker room and smoke it. Wake up by five at the half. Second half, Duke down six. Gerald Henderson, man, he has turned it on in the last five games. Oh. He goes baseline. His daddy taught him that one. Take another look. Duke down four, wake up seven. Jamail Smith. Ooh. Somebody's fancy. Aminu oh. slams it home. Take another look. Wake up nine, then Kyle Singler. He had a good game for Duke, the kid out of Medford. 22 points, game high. He hits the three, Duke down five. And if some is good, more is better. It's Singler again. It's another three-pointer, Duke down four. Duke making a comeback. Looks like Wake had this game one. Under 30 seconds, Duke down two. Henderson, he's wide open. John Shire doesn't see him. Shire shoots, and then Shire has the presence to get his own rebound, calls the timeout. Shire couldn't throw it in the ocean, standing on the beach. But a great play there, and even a better one here. Henderson, over a six foot nine defender, ties the game up with under 10 seconds to go. Here comes Wake the other day, other way. That's Teague there, and then Aminu misses on the putback, but traveling is called on Duke. Dick Vitale, your thoughts? Johnson, Johnson's the guy. Watch Johnson with that size. Throw the ball up on top to Johnson. They get the it. Johnson scores. That is why Dick Vitale is in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Johnson scores. Dickie V calls it. Duke out of time, out of luck. Take another look here. Duke is going to go for the switch, and Johnson is going to slip it. Oh, Henderson. Right there. Coach Gaudio afterwards said, we thought they might switch, and if they did, we told Johnson to slip. 70, 68, Wake Forest wins, Wake Forest speaks. I was just so happy. I'm so happy for it. That was a great play that Coach Gaudio drew up in a, in a timeout, and we got the W. We were horrible in defending the last play, but the, the effort to come back was outstanding. You know, you know, it was not good. It was outstanding. Losing it the way we did on the last play uh, makes it hurt probably a little bit more. But uh, sometimes getting hurt is good. All right, let's hop on the uh, Sports Center Express. Duke becomes the third number one team in the land to fall in the last 12 days. Blue Devils fall in the footsteps of Pittsburgh, who lost to Louisville, and Wake, who we mentioned, lost to Virginia Tech. Blue Devils are the fourth number one team to lose this month. Only twice since the ESPN USA Today poll began in 97-98 have we seen as many as four number one teams fall in a single month. Lost to Wake is the 17th for Duke when ranked number one in the country. This is more than twice as many losses as the next school on the list, North Carolina. Dick Vitale, please. Well, number one Duke came here to Wake Forest, and they're not going to be number one for long because Wake Forest did a terrific job with their defense, especially on the perimeter. They forced Duke to shoot four for 22 from the trifecta. Duke shot 33% for the game, and they had a gutty performance to get the game tied. It was all Henderson and Singler. Didn't have enough help from their friends, but when it was all said and done, Dino Gordio designed the play for James Johnson. He converts. He scores. And it's celebration at Wake Forest. Does anybody have more fun doing college basketball games than Dick Vitale? I don't think so. In the history of the ESPN USA Today coaches poll, and that's again since 97 98, Wake Forest becomes just the fifth school to lose as the top ranked team and then knock off the school that immediately ascended to that ranking. And you'll know that in four of these five occurrences, Duke was the number one team to go down.